So why do you need to have a smear? That's what I just thought we'd look at the anatomy of the wound. Here we have the wound, in front we have the bladder, and this is the bowels. This is the vaginal canal, and this is the neck of the wound called the cervix, and this is where we will be taking a smear sample from. So when you're invited into my room to have your smear taken, I know that you're going to be quite nervous and apprehensive, and my job is to make you feel at ease. Um, and to feel as comfortable as possible. It actually only takes a few minutes to have the smear. So as I'm doing it, I'll be talking you through. Yes, we're in. I can see the neck of the womb. This is what I'm doing now. And then it's finished. So when I'm taking a smear, I need to use a cervical brush, which looks like this, and that will get the cells from the cervix. Cervix looks like a little bagel with a hole in the middle and the hole in the middle is called an os. When I've taken the cells, I'm going to put it in a pot and I'm going to bash the brush in the liquid and put the lid on and that goes to the laboratory and the cells are examined for normal cells or any cells that might have some early changes. So to take the smear, I need to use the speculum um, so that I can look at the neck of the womb. Speculum is a clear instrument. Um, when I use it, I'll moisten it with some water. To put the speculum in, I'm going to gently push it through and then turn it over. It might feel a little bit uncomfortable, but I'll be talking to you, take some nice deep breaths in. Once I've got it in position, I then need to see the neck of the wing, which is, the, which is sitting here. So to do that, I need to gently open the speculum up and the neck of the womb will be at the end. And then I'm going to take my brush and the neck of the womb, I'm just going to gently rotate it round to get my cells. Cervical cancer takes a long time to develop. So all of the cells that we're looking at are looking at early warning signs that can be treated before the cancer develops. That is why cervical screening is a very successful way of preventing cervical cancer.